Okay, 2023, good luck. We've not played before, there's no head-to-head -head score. 250 games for my opponent, so a lot more than I've done. Um, okay, let's play traditional ready. E3 has become the more fashionable way to play it these days. Okay, so knight up is the main move, and these are the main moves for black. I'll collect the pawn back, and then something like this. Knight up and queen down, you can force an end game. Doesn't do that, so maybe d3 might be sensible. Just to stop a quick e4, but I guess it's um, fine anyway. It depends if my opponent wants to go queen side here. I'm just going to try and stick to principles and get castled. Yeah, he's going to maybe do this and restrict my bishop, but that's maybe fine. Oh, he's allowed takes. So it's whether I want to give up the bishop to double the pawns up. Hmm. I'll think about that for now and just castle. But that's definitely a move. Okay, he's pushed forward, but now I've got a target. I think d3 straight away seems sensible here to charge this. If takes, I take, say, bishop up. Hmm. Not sure, not sure. I could do it this side as well. Bring the bishop up. So how do I do this? I've maybe got rook across first and then this. Now I'm going to just play d. d3 immediately. I mean, I've got to watch out for moves like this attacking the queen. I think I can drop back, but I might have just blundered a pawn, actually. Might have done. He's offering the trade now. Knight in creates a threat. I've got a check though, right? And that's a pawn. So what's wrong with that? Oh, well, he can drop back with the knight, but then I can take. So I'm going to check. <clears throat> and I'll probably play here, or I can maybe take here. I'll just grab the pawn. Okay, it's dangerous, but I'm going to grab the pawn. He can obviously castle. And then there's going to be a potential discovery on the queen. So very dangerous this. I've got one square there. I've got knight up, I've got takes. Oh, he's taken back. I didn't expect that. I think I just take, or actually now I can take with a queen, right? I think take with a queen now. We've gained a pawn, so we can afford to lose a pawn and we're still level. It is possible to blunder a tactic with bishop takes. Obviously you'll be aware of that. Okay, he's castled, so I've got bishop takes now. If I take knight takes, there's a threat to come in here or here. So I've got knight up, or I can just take the knight. Queen takes, takes, pawn takes. We both got compromised pawns. So I think just knight up looks sensible to me. But I'm still going to get an isolated pawn. So maybe I can check and collect another pawn, actually. Hmm, that looks interesting, doesn't it? Queen check and grab a pawn. As long as I don't blunder a big piece somehow. I'm going to do that. Then we'll hit the rook. If the knight wanders off, we can take two rooks for a queen. It's whether we he gets a knight in and I lose my rook. I've also got a development move with the bishop first or the pawn up first. But obviously taking here looks sensible. So I'm just going to grab... If the knight moves, I'm threatening to take two rooks for the queen. Knight down, though, is a threat. That's what he's gone for. Now, I thought I had a move like knight up here. I might not have a great deal else, to be fair, but I think knight up's the move. Hmm. Now, I'm hitting another pawn as well, so I'm going to go here. So we're hitting the pawn. We're threatening to take the two rooks for the queen. So it's risk and reward for my opponent. Do they want to give up two rooks, get the queen? They've offered the opportunity. Bishop up, and my position is largely collapsing. Hmm, how else do I develop then? So take, take, take. Hmm, but it could become difficult to play. If I can't move my bishop safely somewhere, develop it could be difficult to play knight up might be a move now though and i can take his bishop knight up and i'm hitting this aren't i i think that makes great sense knight in i can sidestep 
So I think I like the idea of this, actually. Knight here to just hit the bishop and queen. Hmm. If I can get another piece off the board, taking becomes a little bit more stronger for white, I think. A little bit less risk. I'm getting well down on the clock, though, now. So I've got to take time into account as well. well let's just see what my opponent does. Get the cursor off the board so I can't do any accidental pre-moves. So he's just played queen across. Okay, so knight takes is the move I was intending. The pawn is going to be loose. Pawn up is a potential, but I think I should just take. It's whether I take the rook or not. But maybe I can take this opportunity to develop my bishop. If he takes, he hangs the knight. But this might be my last chance to take here. And then, of course, if he manages to coordinate with the queen and the knight, it could be very dangerous. So I'm, I'm leaning towards just developing the bishop. Hit the pawn. Or even here to hit the knight. Hmm. The knight comes forward, he gets pinned. Actually, what's wrong with just a simple bishop up? Hit the knight, threaten to take, and then go to c3 and get on the diagonal. I don't see what's wrong with that. But normally in a game, you'd be quite happy to give up a queen for two rooks, but you know, it is risk and reward. It could backfire. So he's played pawn forward, so it's still an option. I've got pawn up, I've got rook across. I've got pawn up here, I've got bishop here. So bishop up, queen takes, 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 but then he'll activate a rook potentially. Then there's another pawn. If I do this, I'm restricting my bishop and knight might, down might come at some point. So I think bishop c3 makes sense to me. If takes, I take the knight, I think. Maybe he then just plays rook across straight away. I don't have queen here. Hmm. Yeah, that might be the move. So bishop up takes, takes rook across. I guess I'd have, well, no, I don't have queen there, but be queen here. I'm burning a lot of time here. I'm just going to take the knight straight away. And now I do have the option again to take. I think that makes sense, so I'm going to do it. I just have to guard against getting checkmated and try and run my pawn up the board. Okay, so I think bishop back is a move. If the knight ever comes in, as long as I can do this, my king's safe. But obviously there is a weakness here. I'd love to just push it up two now, but maybe you can take, but then I'm just running right. I'm just going to do it. I think that makes sense to me. He won't take, he'll try and take the pawn rather than on Passant. I'm just going to run my pawn up the board. Rook across here now that there was no immediate mate threat because of the knight. Same as um, here. But if takes here, I'm just going to run and I'm going to trust my two rooks can stop the black pawn. And he's going to have my pawn to deal with. I just have to watch out, like I say, for the knight here, queen here, and immediate mate threats, but... Oh, he has taken that, I didn't expect. Yeah, I'll take then. I need the bishop back, so one, I don't forget about it coming under attack. But if the knight's ever here, I've got to move to kick the knight out. And then my king should be solid. Obviously, the knight could potentially get here, and I'll gladly trade it. Yeah, he's gone there straight away, so we just drop right back. And now we try and run the pawn as much as we can and hopefully activate this rook. Okay. I think I should counter that. He might have to do this. He might have to really gamble here. But I am well down on the clock. Could be a problem. Yeah, maybe I want the bishop here because I'm very, very happy to take that knight. So if the knight moves, I grab the pawn. Otherwise, I'm just going to take the knight. And then I think my king is very safe. If he gets pawn here and here, I think I'm safe. But obviously, he might be able to just blast. But I've got two active rooks then. Oh, well, he has done that. 
I'm going to take the pawn then. As long as I don't lose my bishop for free, as long as I can come some way of getting safe, but it might be a blunder this because his knight's on the attacking square now. I might need to move like f4. That's what he's played for, I think. Now, can I go here? Queen here, I think I come back. So I'm going to try and push my pawn. But if he gets on this file with a knight coming in, he might have um, one of them discovered check ideas and it could be bad. Could be bad. Yeah, I need the bishop back here. It might have been a mistake taking there. But I've got a very, very fast pawn. Oh, he has gone to blast it. Okay. I'm going to have to take, I think. I think I have to take there. But queen back, can I simply do this? Hmm. If I get f4 in, that feels like I should be doing well. As long as I don't blunder perpetual checks. Oh, excuse me. Let's just see what he does get the cursor off. But I've only got three and a bit minutes left. Pawn has over five. So he's after the pawn. I'm not bothered about the pawn. But what about this anyway, though, actually? Actually, f4 looks like a good move to me. So I'm going to play it. I want to try and come back and shore up the king's defences. Obviously, any move like this, I'll just chop the knight immediately. And then I think I'm very safe. As long as I don't disconnect my rooks and blunder one of them. So he's gone there and hit the bishop. Oh, why can't I just take the knight now? Oh, that'll be a pep uh, that'll be a repetition. And he can take my bishop, so I might have just actually blundered it. If I take the knight, he just wants to take the pawn and it's a draw. So I might have to risk rook up now. So I'm going to do that, try and guard the pawn. If he takes, and obviously I take the knight, but I have to connect my rooks, I might have to just give up this pawn. Hmm. So I might have just gone wrong. I might have just gone wrong and blundered away a chance to win this. Hmm. If he moves the knight somewhere safe, my bishop's still hanging, my rook's hanging. This, and well, could be a bit of a problem actually. Although, did I just miss a move like rook up here? If he takes a bishop, he gets pinned. Oh, have I just missed something there? Mm. No, I had to guard the pawn, I had to guard the pawn, that's what he's done. But here threatens this partially. I might have to come here and guard, but he's got that, so I think I have to go here. Lots of threats to guard all in one go. Sorry, here. And I'm getting low on time. He's just got a free bishop now, so I should be lost now. Yeah, I've blundered this. Oh, that's unfortunate. I can't even do king up, he's got this. I've blundered the game where it's just a free bishop. Nothing I can do. I'll run the pawn and try and take this one. Oh boy, oh boy. If he takes the bishop, I think I'm just pushing the pawn. I want to try and deflect the knight to collect here. Hmm. So queen down is a threat. King up and he just goes there. What about here now? Yeah, I just I have to kind of bail out on this one now. I've messed up. Queen down is very, very strong. Maybe I've got to go here. Then he's got knight down and I'm just blundered it completely. Oh, unbelievable. Should have won this one. Should have been very, very comfortable here. And I've got nothing whatsoever now. Up takes the rook, up again, he can definitely defend. Here, knight down. Is here a move? I don't know. Yeah, I have to try and guard, don't I? Knight in. Oh, I have to drop this rook back because that's a check threat. 
So I have to drop Rook back. Oh, he's gone there. So I think I have to go up then. But I, I've got to go here, right? If he checks. And then my pawn's going to fall. And it's... Hmm, I'm banking on this now. It's done very well. Very well. Now he's got check and it's just game over, isn't it? Oh, and unfortunate, but it happens. Yeah, a bit disappointing because I've done well for most of this game. Yeah, I can still try and push a pawn, but... Let's just drop back, keep these guarded, try and push. Be nice if I could push this one, but I guess King up allows a check actually, doesn't it? Yeah, got to go there. If I go here, he had check. Well, that's a check now. If he goes here, I've got a check. Can he stop me pushing to the seventh rank? Hmm, I guess he can check there and just sack if he has to, so he's fine, he's not losing. I wonder if we can salvage a draw. King up, I just push the pawn. He's got a check. Yeah, he's gone there. So if I push... I have to try. He's got one check, and I just simply drop back. And then if I do a check here... Yeah, he's gone there, so I think I have to check, right? Oh, he goes here and he's fine. Yeah, he stopped it. And then he can just run his pawn down the board. Or maybe I've got Rook here. As long as I can keep everything protected, he has to stop me promoting. But I think he has stopped me promoting, though, having said that. Unless I can run this pawn as well. I can't free up the Rook to get behind. That's the problem. So I've got to deal with his pawn. Hmm. Interesting, though. It's been interesting. So, I have to go here, right? Now, how on earth do I deal with this? Or maybe I go rook here and I threaten to queen. Ah, rook here could be a move. Am I still in the box if he pushes? Rook here takes, takes, down. I'm in the box. So if I get rook here, check up. I have to try, don't I? I'm threatening to queen. Check up. If he takes a queen. If he checks, I go here. I could go here and then he hits my rook, so I've got to go forward. I'm still threatening. Now I'm not threatening. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Can I queen though? Takes. Check. Back. Rook check. I guess he just goes back. It doesn't work. Ooh, can I make it complicated enough to run his clock down? Very, very difficult. But see, if my king gets outside of the box, you draw a box around the around where a pawn is. If your king can't step in, you can't stop it. He's thinking too long now, though, unless he's going to just go into bullet mode. He just completely stopped, doesn't he? Oh, king back now. Okay, I just have to be sensible here because he's burnt his time. Rook across, he'll check. If I go here though, can he... Has he got a check? He's got a check there. I just have to play the clock. Yeah, he just took too long there. We've got a good win.